yeah what's good ladies and gentlemen it's your boy shimti and um uh, i'm about to do a reaction so i'll be reacting to uh joy sine i'm not sure if i pronounce her name right that's how she pronounced her name in our first video sine yeah so um she's south african and she was reacting to um woody Maya. all right um topic was um what other africans think about south africa now me i'm from west africa and this channel is like the west african east african and um uh, yeah we there are some things there are some um how do i put this some unsavory things that we think about south africans generally not individually but generally generally so uh i have always felt like it would be better if we could get to understand each other better so i think uh uh, uh hearing a south african explain some of the things in context that other africans might um uh, misconstrue about south africans is very important all right very important so i'll be reacting to it now guys and i want to know your thoughts this was her video um shout out to joy to uh joy uh cine exo react right to the exo react so uh let's do this guys let's do this let's do this let's go Hi guys, welcome to my channel, welcome back for my next reaction. So I'm going to be watching a video about Wood and Maya. It was suggested by a lot of people actually. And I did see in the comments under... Um, oh my days, I forgot his name, but I'll leave it here. Uh, where a lot of people were basically saying how... Okay, that's Tayo Aina. Tayo Aina is a Nigerian um, YouTuber. He does a real estate YouTube a lot. One of, one of the biggest YouTubers in Nigeria. They didn't like his comments about South Africa. So I'm gonna watch this video and then I'll share my perspective and maybe try and not educate, so I don't wanna say educate him, but like, you know, whatever he says, maybe I can either agree or disagree and have a reason why I disagree. Anyways, the video is called South Africa, South Africa most divided African country question mark. <laughs> okay, so the video with the Maya did was titled South Africa the most divided country in Africa, something like that. Yeah guys, um here on the thumbnail on here, he's with Trudy, so she's Kenyan and he's Ghanaian, I think. Okay, so a Ghanaian and a Kenyan, right? East Africa and West Africa. Um two individuals, East African and West Africa, in South Africa saying what they thought about South Africa. Alright. I think they visited. So uh, it's also fortunate that this channel is also, is also uh, largely East African and West African. So let's go, guys. Let's go. Thank you. Yeah. I'll rest you guys. Hey, guys. What's up? So I think they're in South Africa. Uh, we are here in Victoria, and uh, actually, we are working in a neighborhood where we are the only black, black people, people living there. It's crazy, right? Can I also say that Pretoria is very, I would, I would think um, Pretoria is quite very. Um, multicultural like i feel like the afrikaans people who live in pretoria are just probably the most mm, racist yeah i would say that they're very strict in their ways like they're very very divided whereas if you come to durban if they were walking outside here there won't be the only white people there'll be some black people but just only a few maybe in gated yeah communities. all the neighbors are white all our neighbors are white. I mean, like, I just wanted to ask you, you know, since we came to Victoria, have, haven't you noticed that the majority of the people are white? Like, it's even, yeah, you question yourself, like, am I in Africa, you know? If you See, I like this, I like this. The West African accent, the East African accent. I like this, I swear. Do you remember Monte Cassino? Exactly, when we went what? to Monte Cassino, almost... Uh, also, I find it strange in Monte Cassino because... I feel like a lot of black people are not into coming to areas like Monte Cassino. You probably find like the younger kids. I, I would have thought because there's an arcade place. Um, I think there's a movie theater and it's eating. So it's mostly like families. And I think black families like um, just tend to like either go other places than Monte Cassino. I don't think Monte Cassino is like a place where you'd be like, oh, you should find black people. I don't think, I don't think it's the black people. Okay, so it's a cultural thing. Um, black people tend to go here, white people tend to go here based on preferences, right? People kind of vibe with place. I don't know if I'm making sense. Yeah. It's no. why. And there's those um, of Indians what I was on this that, footage. You know, I don't want to say this, but I feel like South Africa is the most divided African country that we've ever been to. Mm -hmm. True or false? That could be true. How divided? And I also think that they probably think it's most 
it's more divided because I probably think South Africa is probably like the only country that has a lot of white people residing here. Like they call it a rainbow, rainbow nation for a reason. Like we have more Indian people living outside of India in South Africa. We have like a lot of foreigners, like we have a lot of like like Chinese, like Pakistani. Of, like I know there's a lot of like people from Israel. Like it's just so so I feel like you can see probably like where people hang out in if it makes sense. Like probably if they went to four ways they probably would have seen a lot more black people, Indian people and guys the reason why I want to do this because a lot of people were getting offended in the comment section so i didn't want to go through the whole video without um going i want to do it with you guys all right i think some of the issues that will be uh, addressed here will be very very controversial all right so let's go on and white people in one setting but i just think like it's just subjective it's like where are you like that's the first the first question it's like where are you <laughs> because you see white people by themselves an area that is only white people so, yeah, exactly and you see only indians group together mm -hmm. and then you see black people group together but i mean uh i mean this is how the country is and i feel like everyone is here but it's one thing that i really don't understand okay. like when you see the luxury houses in mm. johannesburg if you see luxury houses specifically victoria it's not owned by Black people. Nah, why? Black people living. <laughs> and what can you say about that? It's like nothing, guys. Like literally, guys. The country to me is younger than me. I'm still figuring out my figure figuring out my life. <laughs> so um, I feel like it's just so important not to judge um, a country that is growing. But you know, the funny thing is that, guys. Black Sorry, what did she say? Did she say the country is younger than me? I'm still figuring out my figure. Nah, why? Black people living. And what can you say about that? It's apartheid, guys. Like, literally, guys, the country to me is younger than me. I'm still figuring out my figure, figuring out my life. <laughs> so, um, I feel like it's just so important not to judge. Um, a country that is growing but you know the funny thing is that guys the amount of black people I see building in South Africa is actually like amazing and to think that at this rate there's going to be more more black people like being rich and more black people owning businesses more black people um, owning schools like at this rate like even my, my room guys I live in like an area that is like very not wealthy it's like an, uh, an estate like right it's wealthy estate and already i have on my road three black families no four black families well it's three black families at the moment but the other black family is still um building their home so we are getting there it's slow it is slow believe me or not but we are getting there so i feel like them saying they can't understand i think they must realize the climate that South Africa used to be in or under. Like, it's going to take a while to get there. And trust me, there are black families owning luxury homes, like massive, beautiful luxury homes. So, yeah. We would um, expect that. Where, you know, houses are not that well off. You know, like Soweto. Yeah, we went to townships. Uh, went to the township. Mm. Mm. Soweto uh, reminds me of this movie. Sarafina, one of my favorite movies growing up. Townships in, are... Uh, what do you call it? I um, mean, Pretoria, they live in the township. But if you walk around this beautiful estate, like where we are right now, I mean, look behind us, just to become a... The whole... I wonder what estate they... area you see right here. Oh, my God. And also, this quite, can I also say, this is quite an old estate. I feel like in the newer estates is where you're going to see the black people. Like, because I feel like black people don't like old homes like to to black people this is like old okay. <laughs> to south african black people this area is not nice like, okay i was going i was going to say something like that, like that so you have cultural differences too um that also determine 
what pe what people see as beautiful or what is desir desirable. So you 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 would very often see such things, and um, you will need context to explain. I know that that happens. That happens. They're probably in the newer estates that are being built or have been built, like recently. In one black, black person. person. If you see a black person here, which means that he cut the grass or maybe oh, yeah. he cleaning the, the house. compound, oh. cleaning the house, and um, yeah, or delivering I, something. That's it. That's that's one thing that makes me feel so sad because people are telling me why I don't do a video about luxury houses in um, in South Africa, but it's I don't. Because most of them are owned by whites. I, which is then wrong because Teo just oh I figure out his name oh, I remember his name Teo. Teo just did a video where his name is Teo I know Teo the home the home was owned by a black person. There's more. It's just that I don't know. I feel like I, I don't know how to explain. I feel like instead of him just come them coming here and saying this stuff. I feel like you have to live here more and then oh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm explaining it right. That's exactly what I, what I was saying. Um I feel like um to do a video like this, uh you probably need a guide, someone who understands the country a bit more than you just come in and then you see things and you speak. It's possible for, for you to see something and you don't understand it, but you think you do. You need you need a bit of a context to understand what you have seen or to know what it is. That happens. That happens. I've seen some people complain about um the um the palace of the above building and i'm like bruh nobody's going to touch that palace because that's another long story maybe i'll do a video on that time let's go on. but you need context to explain some things guys but it's just like sometimes we have to be careful how we uh, conclude like we conclude without a lot of knowledge and opening our eyes and seeing Facts. faces and also like the areas we are going to like i feel like in pretoria like i said it's like even like Joburg to me is very um maybe like in <sighs> near Santon and all those areas and four ways maybe it's a mid range maybe it's like very mixed but I just feel like Pretoria to me is very like closed off like I didn't enjoy living in Pretoria because my neighbors like you couldn't even like say hi to them because they're just like because I and also I feel like um people need to realize is that a lot of like maybe people wouldn't want to come and live in areas like these all the states because maybe the, the white people who are living here are stuck in their ways and don't want to see successful black people so i've in this estate like i've not spoken well but my neighbor we speak um said hi or smile waving at each other like ugh. It depends, guys. I feel like I'm talking too much, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, of course, there are black people who own them, but they are few. You know? I mean, there are South Africans, yeah, it's good to talk about those things, but I, I feel like. Um... <laughs> I feel like he feels like a lot of things that he's trying not to say. Let's go in. I mean, black South Africans are not empowered. And um, in other words, I would say that like they don't have economic freedom. Oh, because if you check about the economy of South Africa or what I'm seeing so far, I mean, even though the uh, what do you call it, the white folks in here are just four million, but hey, they like, they control the economy. I, I mean, we went to Montana. okay, okay. Now that's uh, that's something that is generally believed down here in the in, in the West. If you come on on um, on Twitter here, a lot of people believe that. Um, um the white minority control the economy in south africa i don't know how true that is i've never been to south africa and sometimes the news out of south africa scares me and i feel like maybe that's no place to be i don't know i don't know but yeah so some so, so some of the um, perspectives we have uh <laughs> they're a bit too extreme to be true right about fellow africans so that's one of the reasons i want to react to having you i know the my son so let's go on you know you see one thing i've seen what but then there's but then I'm going to ask, in Kenya or in Ghana, who owns the corporate companies? Because what I've seen a lot of like um, <laughs> videos that I've seen of like maybe Kenya or like Nigeria or Uganda, I see a lot of like South African corporate companies. I've seen Wait. It's seen the train shots now. <laughs> it's seen the train shots now. Yeah, it's true. We do have uh, let's say a lot, quite in 
we have major uh, players in our industry in South Africa. We have DSTV, we have MCN, we have uh, ShopRite. And uh, yeah, it has caused some sort of frictions in the past. But yeah, let me, let, let, let me get her point. Let me get her point. All those like, uh, companies, those are like owned by South Africans. <laughs> or like, probably like British people. <laughs> so they really own. I think the difference maybe is that in South Africa is blatant because a lot of white people live in South Africa. So you that is the difference. That is the difference. That is the difference. You get to see them living and enjoying their money. But like that is maybe the other African countries, they're not living in that country and are eating them I getting the rewards while living in the UK or living like I don't know, Italy. Like it's just so um <sighs> yeah. <laughs> the, 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 the only we've been told there's only a population of four million black people, exactly. but they control the economy of South white Africa. people. You mean? Exactly. Did I say four million black people? Four million? No, no, four no, million four, white, white people. people. Yeah. So we, we just want to know what exactly is happening in South Africa. I mean, this is what I've experienced. This is what I've observed. If you're a South African out there, let me know what you think. Um, why do you think this is happening? I mean, who controls the wealth of South Africa? <laughs> I mean, if if Mandela said all of you can live together as one, right? But after coming here, I feel like your guys are not one. Yeah. And then, you know, all the people are what controlling the whole economy. I don't know, but this is what I've seen, and I feel so sad to be here. I mean, I'm enjoying my life here, but uh, when you move around certain places, it's when you're in town, you see it's only black people lining up to board the taxi. You don't see why it's like, okay, uh, what's going can't on? See why, you can't see why people um, waiting for taxis because white people have always had wealth in this country. Like, they have generational wealth. You do see, like, nowadays, like, even here in my area, I do see in the town, I see, like, a homeless white person. I see homeless Indian people. Like, they are homeless, like, people from all uh, races. But obviously, there's more black people because there's more black people in South Africa. But I think this thing, I think people also forget that, like I said, generational wealth. Like, these people have money that they've accumulated since 1800s selling like the diamonds or the gold like um um what do you call it shipping like fruits and vegetables all those things so i feel like people like you need to <laughs> you need to understand because even the uk <laughs> man what the hell okay the adverts let's watch the adverts to um help our stuff you know what i'm saying so what if for a bit guys just to Make sure she gets her coins, guys. So, yep, yep, yep. Let's go. Sorry, my uh, camera stopped recording. You, even in Brixton, guys, you can't see. Well, now you do because like they revamped the area, but you wouldn't have seen a white person like getting on the bus in Brist in Brixton because it's not the area. <laughs> like, come on now, like yeah. It's like the black park for the whites. I don't know. I don't want to be a. No, come on, come on. That is self, that blacks work for the whites. That is self-explanatory. Well, let me not let me not sound judgmental, but I think that's. I think that should be pretty easy to understand. But let's go on. That's what I see. Right? Yes, and this is. I mean, like you walk. I mean, it's, it's pretty much the same thing all across Africa. Let's go. On, let's go. On. You walk the around the neighborhoods, the mansions. I mean, maybe come, 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 come. I think maybe Mr. Like, Lawrence can tell us. It's your opinion, but obviously there's people to like advise you or maybe like educate you. Exactly, you need a guy. Mr. Lawrence, yeah. I want to ask you a question. Mr. Lawrence, you live in Victoria. Yeah. I just want to know. I mean, I've been I've been in Victoria for four days now, and I don't even want to do anything. Four days. <laughs> and that's what I said earlier. You don't go to you, you don't go somewhere and watch something and think you can explain. And notice, uh, notice things around you that you met there and think you can explain what goes on or why these things go on or how these things are. All right, you ask people who live around you, you take a guide, or what do they call them now? Those people who go who go around with you and talk, t telling you what this is, what this is. I don't travel, so I've forgotten what they call them. Yeah, so it, it gives you a bit of a context, you understand what goes on more. All right, you understand? Well, you can't come to my city now. I think you understand everything when you spend four days in my city. <laughs> no, 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 not true. Why? Why? Because I feel like this is not the black 
city. Yeah, Pretoria is predominantly mm -hmm. white. But, but why is it like that? Um, I think it's because also Pretoria is safer than Joburg, so you've got a lot of the white um, preferring to stay here okay. than in, in Joburg. So which means that... So there's a, there's a, well, there's a big population of, of white um, South Africans living in Pretoria and um, yeah, it's it's kind of like so different to Joburg, yeah, in terms of... So um, which means the place where black people live is not really safe. Okay, bro, um, there's this thing. When it comes to real estate, who has uh, money determines a lot. She already explained that generational wealth, the white, the white habits on their side. So when it comes to getting the safer place, of course, even in your own city, wherever you are, the places that are safer, that have a better electricity, better network, the richest people will stay there. That's the truth. That's the way it goes. Let's go on. Um, I wouldn't say that. It's it's the, the depends. It but is. It should a be. Lot of crime in both areas, but I think um, in the black areas, like you know, it's not really reported. Yeah, so there's a lot of crime happening there, and then maybe the news doesn't bring it out. Yeah. Guys, there's crime everywhere in South Africa, like, not everywhere, but I'm just saying, like, white people get affected, black people get, get affected, affected, Indians get affected. But not the same rate, right? Affected. Not the same rate. It's just what it is. You can't expect a country that is obviously high um, unemployment rates. We have mm -hmm. a high um, amount of, like, foreign people in this country. So... It's expected, like it's it's a result of something happening. So I Sorry. feel like I have to go back. Like foreign people in this country. So we have a high um, amount of like foreign people in this country. So it's expected, like it's it's a result of something happening. So I feel like as well the reason why a lot of people live in the states is because they're trying to run away from crime. And obviously the people, unfortunately, who can afford to live in those areas tend to be white people because black people are still building. We are empowered. We are yeah, working. I like, I feel like this whole thing of like, that's black Africans are lazy is just crap to me. Because like I said, the amount of people I see, even here, people who are building homes are black people. Black people are running like, a, a, what do you call it, like building companies and stuff. There are black people, it's just that we are growing and we are coming up to that level. Yeah. I'm like halfway through this like video and I talk too much. If a child is kidnapped or there's a burglary, it's on the news, like everyone's going to know about it. Like, oh. They're so cautious of security. Yeah. Wow. So like if you look around in the neighbors, you just see security signs like on every wall, like, you know. And I, I, I've, I've also seen that like, um, life in Pretoria is kind of laid back. I mean, People really, I feel so safe in Victoria than when I was in Joburg and all that. Yeah. Um, yeah, you, you think so too? Mo uh, most definitely. Pretoria is like um, so cool, it's so laid back. Um, you don't really have um, that congestion and what you find in Joburg. So, who, you know who owns the wealth of? Oh. But I can still say like 90% of the, of, the, of the economy is being run by the white um, minority. And, um, do you think there's any way to empower black people in here? Well, I, I believe that the leadership in the country has got a big role to play because they've had many chances to address that uh, problem, you know, through the so-called black economic guys. empowerment uh, <laughs> programs they had where they were allowing black to participate in the economy through tenders and things like that. But it was only being uh, benefiting the rich elites and then the, the others wouldn't fit into into that category because they'll ask them for too many requirements which they wouldn't have for you to be registered to get uh, a tender so it, it, it's it's there's a lot of work that the government has to do like for example even um, empowerment with um, land and things like that there's a lot of talk about it but um, you find that ownership of property the properties are so expensive i think what that, world and maya should have done actually Speaking, spoke to someone who's probably like um, in that area of like discussing in terms of like black empowerment and black people owning more in the land. Because I feel like he could have asked me, I wouldn't actually have a lot of knowledge about things like that because what I experienced like with my family or like my neighbors or I don't know, like it will be different to what 
another black person will be experiencing like the barriers and stuff because i feel like sometimes it's also also about networking so like if you have someone in an office they'll be like oh how do i how do i get how do i go about getting this they will help you so i feel like it's the information that we have is probably not a lot out there um so i feel like he should have really sat down because this is a good conversation but he should have had people who are working towards achieving what he's asking about i think they would have had more insights and maybe had also the numbers and statistics to back up what they were saying yeah because i feel like asking us random people you can only ask us about like the, the struggle we go through but all the other information to help us grow into being empowered they would have answered better the average black person would take 20 30 years just to own a property and then the white person most of the white which is okay could be real could be false some people it doesn't take long for them to get like i know black families who have bought land and are building homes so like i said it's subjective their own properties most of them own properties and they are at the upper hand yeah you see? generational so wealth the economy is kind of like yeah uh, one thing I could say also about Watermeyer, he doesn't seem very interested to like dissect whatever. I don't know, like to me, I'm feeling that he's not listening. Or maybe <laughs> I'm just looking at I don't know, but I just don't think he's listening. <laughs> Alright, cool. <laughs> right, so I mean, keep walking. I say keep walking. <laughs> <laughs> he told the girl keep walking. <laughs> Let this South African man who hear us. <laughs> We're about to say some nasty shit, bro. <laughs> I don't know, but I just don't think she was listening. <laughs> All right, cool. Right, so I mean, keep walking. You see, just wait for us. Yeah, make sure you don't show the car number. Yeah, so you heard from Mr. Lawrence. This is what I've observed in here. I mean. I just want all South Africans to come together, unite as one. Just let me know what you think in the comment section. For me, I'm just a foreigner. I mean, no, I, I, I can't call myself a foreigner. No. <laughs> that's another, that's another um, subject for dispute, but let's go on. I'm an African born in Ghana and currently in South yes. Africa. But just, just let me know what you think. I mean, this is what I've observed. Let me know what you've observed and um, you have I'm also curious to, to hear what South Africans uh, have to say about let, let us know what because you think. Because they have a lot to say, but you know, I don't want to What, what did you curious. say? What do you think? I mean, this is what I've observed. Let me know what you've observed and um, you have I'm also curious to, to hear what South Africans uh, have to say about let, let okay. us know what because you think. Because they have a lot to say, but you know, I don't want to overstep my... No, ah, come on. I said it, bro. I said, they both have a lot to say, but they don't want to overstep. They don't want to over... Man, the backlash could be huge. <laughs> they are thinking some things, but they don't want to say it. Well, let's go on. If you have a lot to say, say something. You want to hear You'll be there and I'm being attacked. No, no, this, this, I'm going to post this video on my YouTube channel. Just let me know what, what, what do you have on your mind. Yeah, I must okay, say. Uh, so what I wanted to say is that mm -hmm. the situation is just sad. As you guys can see, um, <laughs> like this is a black country, but you see the black people are suffering. I'm not racist, I love white people, but then... But then a good question you can raise is that, are there black people suffering in Kenya? Are there black people suffering in Nigeria? Are there black people... Oh, Sine. <laughs> Sine, let her finish now. Let her finish, let her finish. Let her finish, don't throw your shorts back. Are there black people suffering in Kenya? Are there black people suffering in Nigeria? Are there black people suffering? <laughs> Guys, black people are suffering everywhere. <laughs> black people are suffering in America. Black people are suffering in the UK. <laughs> the system, whichever system, is against us. <laughs> and that's the sad part. And unfortunately, a lot of us don't have the, f the fighting spirit or like the... I don't want to say the the brain, the brains to like start a business because we are being crippled by our situations and that's why we probably see a lot of people not doing well and they need assistance from the government so <laughs> you see now you see her, her facial expression there it seems to me like she's a bit like she's a bit um, I won't say worried 
but tired by all this. Let's go. Like, ah. Uh. So she's trained cheap shots. Let me not say cheap shots. She's trained um, little shots back. So when you ask this question of black suffering in South Africa, she chose it right back. Uh, black suffering in Kenya, black suffering in Nigeria, which is true. Which is true. All right, well, let's go on. A lot of people not doing well <laughs> in the assistance from the government. So, like, come on, you know, come like on. Like yesterday, we were in Mandela statue. There's a group of people who uh -huh. are who, who had put up tents saying they have been ignored since independence. Um, you know, As they have been left out. Yeah. You know, and it's like, wow, this is your country. Why is the situation like this? I don't know. No country is perfect, but we're just pointing out what we have observed here. And, um, please, I, re I really wish... Um, can, can I also say that also, the, the thing is, Africa is very, very advanced. Like, it's very, um, yep. very modern. And I feel like the, the reason why we could also see the s degrees of separation, I don't know, is because the country is developed. But I feel like if you compare how black people live in South Africa and live in other African countries, <laughs> there's no difference. Because you can see people living like Americans. That's the thing about South Africa. Well, guys, my neck. So. <laughs> She too, is, she too, she's trying not to offend people with her comments. She too, she's trying not to offend people with her comments. Let's go. South Africa. Well, guys, my neck. So. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, don't I mean, know. properties or everything can be shared equally. Among you can't you share property. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You can't share property. You have to buy property. Exactly. When people talk about um, you want the uh, redistribution of wealth, you're not going to rob people who already have the wealth and give it to those who don't have it yet now, right? There has to be a systemic way of doing these things. You're not just going to take it from here and put here. Like, I can't, no one in the UK can share property with me. I have to buy, I have to save money, get a deposit, apply to get um, a mortgage. Can't share property. Can't share. Land, the thing is with land, it's a different story. Like a land, I feel like they need to bring and pay reparations. Yeah, but you can't share property you have to buy. As for the reparations, I agree. I agree. I don't want to talk too long, uh, talk too much in this video. It's already long enough. But it's funny, the Jews got reparations from the Germans and all of that. But even the blacks in America, um, the slaves, did not get reparations. Instead, their white masters got paid for losing their slaves. No reparations to the slaves. So, um, she's right when she says perhaps the white people there should pay reparations. That's a very controversial topic. It will be if it's raised, if it's brought up. But yeah. It's reasonable. Buy property because it's how the economy works. Can't just share. And also, if you really think that you're South African, and then you guys still need to come together as one country because it's sad to walk in here and you see white only group here. And here you're not even seeing anything. Can Indians, you remember the, the, the estate you went to? Which estate? Oh, what was the name mm. of the estate? I forgot the name. We went to one estate in oh, here. Right. Oh my goodness. And it's one of the most beautiful estates that I've ever seen in my entire, entire life. Entire life. Me too. Mansions upon mansions. Beautiful cars. Oh my goodness. I, you went there. What did you say? You said you feel like your dreams are what? Dreams are valid. Like nothing is impossible. Because yeah. those are only things you see on TV. Yeah. I mean, you, you saw <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. There are a lot of estates in South Africa like that. A lot, guys. If I tell you about South Africa, guys, living in South Africa is like living in a developed country. A lot of areas. The, the way the homes are built, the way the homes are furnished, the way the homes are designed. Swimming pool upon swimming pool upon swimming pool in your house. So, that's why I say that it's probably the reason why you can feel the separation. And, like I said, white people have money. Like, a white <laughs> dad, the daughter of like. I'm sorry, that particular statement, white people have money. <laughs> white people have money it rings in my head man. it rings in my head almost like an accusation it's not but it rings in my head almost like an accusation let's go on said white people have money like a white dad the daughter will be like 
and graduating, I need a house. The white guy, because he has generational wealth, would be like, here's the money. I have friends in my group who are white in the UK and their parents have given them money to buy a house because that's what you do. Give money to a child so they can grow and then they can... Okay, what's going on? Sorry, my thing is not stopping. So they can give money to their kids. So I feel like us black people are in the process of doing that. Like my mom has given me money to survive because why she worked. So now I'm going to give money to my daughter and she should do the same. Why? Because it's generational wealth. It's just that our generational wealth just started in 1994, really. That's a short time. Yeah. A short time. So, guys, let's not be stressed about that feel bad for black people. Let's empower. Be like, okay, I want to start a business. Let's get everyone on YouTube. Let's get around making stuff. Let's get around manufacturing stuff. Like, bring your businesses to life. Go work. Go educate yourself. Because some of us cannot be business owners, guys. We cannot be. We can be workers. So, yeah. I think she got a lot a lot of hateful comments in her, her comment section because um there's a comment she made that she did not, not paying people referring to her as woman. I get man I get, I guess in any um uh in a very rude way. Yeah, I can imagine what the comment section would be like from the from um uh from the angle of those who were rude. I mean I get some myself so but I can picture something like this, the kind of comment it would generate. So something like you feel like you're dreaming you're not dreaming so big. oh yeah i feel like you're not dreaming big enough because you're like oh my god people are honestly actually... guys i feel like very when i look at the homes here i'm like i feel stressed <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> i need to get money i need to you live like this this in, what? In, in, in africa i mean this uh, is the, the motherland i mean when i saw it i was like wow and i keep on moving around seeing all of them, all the houses is here for white folks. I was like, wow, 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 wow. I mean, this is what I've observed. I love Africa, I love everybody, but I just wanted to know why this is happening, you know. Uh, why let us know what you think in the comment section. Um, leave a comment. I mean, share, like, subscribe. Go support me, 3 City channel, and um, it's your boy, Mr. Ghana, baby. Oh, and she's I'll pregnant. See you. I wonder how far along oh, she is. How oh, you know oh, she's like, pregnant? Um, I mean, share, like, subscribe, go support me, 3 City channel, and um, it's your boy, Mr. Ghana, baby. Oh, she's I'll pregnant. See you. Uh, How do you know she's pregnant? She is. How do you know I she's pregnant? I just realized it together recently after watching the video. Okay, guys, that was interesting. Um, yeah, like I said, guys, I feel like sometimes if something is not familiar to us, we see it as like a negative towards the black people, that the black people are not working hard, but you have to just observe why things are this way and are people really growing and trying to decrease the gap and I feel like South Africans are for me personally and I feel like there's a lot, a lot more work to be done but um, there'll be more there'll be more things achieved if we empower ourselves and just stay away from negativity don't look at what white people are doing focus guys like focus and build yourself up yeah, and just like, yeah, yeah, so I feel like next time for them, I wish they would have spoken to people who are running businesses. Like, I, that's why I like Teo. Teo has the mind of talking to people who own businesses in South Africa and, and people who are also like, like foreign, people from other countries uh, like Nigeria or Kenya or living in South Africa and are doing really well. And just see how people are pushing, they're working. You know, there's a, even there's a guy who owns a restaurant at the airport, the biggest airport, I believe in Africa, or Aratambo. He has a restaurant there, like a black person. So anything is achievable, and I just think that negativity should be pushed to the side, and we should support each other, and um, educate ourselves, I think, yeah. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I hope it wasn't boring and I hope it was a bit educational. I tried my best. <laughs> yeah, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye. Alright, so you can check her channel, guys. You can check her channel, Cine uh, Zoo Reacts. So, um, yeah, we uh, some of the issues raised, especially that of um, whites uh, being richer than the uh, 
blacks, which is basically what the the video was about. It's the same thing everywhere in, Ar in Africa. It's the same thing everywhere in Africa. They own the businesses. They own all right now. The difference is they don't live here in West Africa and um, East Africa like they do in uh, South Africa. So uh, I guess that's just the major difference. I I I, <laughs> I don't see the need for all the. <clears throat> All the hateful comments that uh, people were throwing, the fights, oh, that I don't see the need for any of that, guys. Anyway, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. Let me know what your thoughts are. Thanks for viewing.